Garmin golf devices are designed to help you play your best from the first tee to the last putt. Available on select devices, AutoShot game tracking lets you collect data to review and map and analyze all your detected shots from each round you play. How does AutoShot game tracking work? During a round, the measure shot function lets you see how far you hit a particular shot, like that drive you crushed on number 12. You can also check distances for each previous detected shot during your round. When your device is synced with Garmin Connect, you can also view the auto shot map. The map shows the distance and location for each detected shot after it has been automatically uploaded. With this tool, you can compare your stats with previous rounds and analyze your tendencies. For example, are you missing to the left or the right, and by how much? Another choice you need to make before teeing off is whether or not to turn on club tracking. You can turn it on through your device's settings menu. The first time you turn on club tracking, your golf watch will ask you to enter your typical drive distance. This information is used to predict what club you're likely to use for each shot. All you do is confirm the correct club. With club tracking turned on, after each shot, your device will ask you to identify the club you just used. The Garmin Connect app uses this information to calculate your average distance for each club. You can identify the club you just used any time before you hit your next shot, for example, on your way to your ball. If you forget to enter a club for a shot, don't worry. Club tracking marks the club for that shot as unknown. You can correct the entry later when you're reviewing the data on Garmin Connect. After you've finished your round and saved your scorecard, upload it to Garmin Connect using your phone or computer. To get more information about uploading scorecards, see the owner's manual or watch one of our other instructional videos for how to connect to your phone. That's all for this video. You can learn more by watching other tutorial videos in this series. Thanks for watching.